If you journey out to California and go to Gold's Gym, the legendary Sanctum, the Cooperstown of bodybuilding, the training ground for all the California muscle beach men, and if you ask the owner of Gold's Gym, Ken Sprague, who is the greatest promoter of bodybuilding, he will tell you, I'm the greatest promoter of bodybuilding. Ken Sprague may not be the greatest, but he can take a lot of credit. He's behind this year's Mr. America contest, which is amateur and therefore offers no prize money. Still, he can muster troops of elephants and muscle men to parade through Santa Monica. And he doesn't do it because he likes elephants. There you have $100,000 in gross income. $45,000 from the auditorium for ticket sales. You have $145,000. Now those are the bare minimums. When you're talking about with all the people, the 150,000 people will be out here on the parade route, it doesn't take into consideration the t-shirts you'll sell, the memorabilia, um, you name it, we'll, we'll hawk it. Show us some of the, the routines that you're judged on during the competition. So we'll take your mic off. And then, Ken, if you can explain what it is we're seeing, we have to have him take off his okay. shirt, too. We'll not put any musical background in here. You can stand right there, Tony. Yeah, you might notice uh, sitting here beside is Tony. Is Let me to take that, Tony. Really looks like your college halfback type. <laughs> now, standing there, of course, he's very muscular, but he doesn't, uh, he's not overly big like you'd anticipate. Now, no. as soon as he flexes, of course, <laughs> he, it comes alive. Now, what, he's just going through... Exactly. Various poses. The idea of posing is to show your, uh, show your muscles. That's the whole criteria of judging, to display your muscles that, that have taken thousands of hours to develop. So what are the judges looking for? The, the symmetry of the muscles? Exactly. Is that the it, shape, or? the size, the lack of body fat the whole bit. Why do they oil themselves? They oil themselves lightly for better light reflection. Again, it's a visual approach. The judging, you're trying to display your muscles. A little oil gives you a better uh, reflection of light, which is very important in any sort of display. Okay, got about 10 seconds. There you go. Terrific. <laughs> that really is something. I mean, are people sometimes embarrassed to look at your muscles? Yeah, they're Excuse me, I've got to pick up this. I'm so embarrassed I didn't remember <laughs> your mic. Are they? Yes, I think they are. It's, at times, they, they stare at you, you know. It's, does it's that weird. embarrass you? We're out of time. But does that embarrass you to have people feel that way? No, no, I feel no. good when they do that. <laughs> well, Tony, congratulations thank again. You. Thank you for being with us. Ken, thank you, too, thank for you. coming. Thank you. All right. Yeah. We're going to be back after these words from the National Star Magazine. <laughs> Now, let me change subjects. You've heard a lot of lately about muscle building. As a matter of fact, Arnold Schwarzenegger's made uh, the term pumping iron famous. Now, when I was a little kid, I was like a, a scrawny, and the big bullies pushed me around. One day, I'm reading a comic book, and I saw one of those ads about bodybuilding. You remember the fellow with all the muscles? Uh, what was it, Charles Atlas? I decided to send in a dime for the information, and lo and behold, before I could, some big bully came along and stole my comic book. Anyway, here is our salute to the muscle men who pump iron. Someday he'll come along. himself, Sylvester Stallone, presenting the award for Mr. Teenage America to his bodyguard, uh, Rudy Hermosillo. Macho, baby. Body, body. Body. And that's our little salute to the muscle men who pump iron. Hey! Oh, incredible bodies.